All right. So um, basically, originally our buildings for a client. So quite often we'll have requests where we want to you know, generate either reports or Word document templates or things and drop them in SharePoint locations for records. And that works fine if the record, the document location already exists, but um, CRM doesn't actually create those document locations until you navigate to the documents for a record. So if you've never done that before, then it's not going to work to to drop the file in there. So we create created the solution to um, to do that for you. So it's all configurable. You can specify how you want your folder structured, and then anytime you create a record of that type, it'll automatically create a document location. So it's ready for files. So we're using this internally for our quotes and I'm using an AFCO as well for their document generation. So we got this super fancy model driven actor for it. So it's advanced document management. So it's all configured through these document location configuration records. So in column up here, your configuration can be based on either a table or just a folder. So you kind of build whatever hierarchy you want here. So in this case here, where our root locations here is going to be an account. So we pick our account. That's going to go under the. You can't see, but this is like that just account document location that um, CRM creates by default. So it'll be under the account folder in SharePoint. And then from here, we're able to then just build out whatever structure we want. So we're going to have this child configuration here. That's just going to be a folder called quote under the account. And then under there, we'll have another child configuration. That'll be the actual quote table. So when a quote record is created, it's going to go build that hierarchy and create a folder under the account under its quote folder. So that's all configurable based on the, the parent configuration. So you pick that here and then you add the, the column. So it's going to look up the account with the potential customer to find where it's supposed to put the create that, that folder in SharePoint. So how it works under the hood is when you create one of these records, if it is a type of table, then it's going to register a plugin on that on that record type. So I created this account configuration. So there's now a plugin that got registered whenever an account is created. It's going to run this plugin to add that document location. And then there is a flow. That when a document location is created, it goes and adds that SharePoint folder and then as all those child folders as well. So if we switch. Over here, let's go to create a new quote. Eric. Eric's account's got one set up already. So the show would have kicked off our plugin runs in the background that then calls this flow. And um, well, that's fun. So it would have normally worked, but I have been making a bunch of changes forward to make it work with what AFCO needs. But uh, what it does is there's just custom API called add document location. 
as well as the plugin calls. So with that custom API, you're also able to, if you want to run it for like existing records or anything like that, you can just manually call this custom API. And another issue that I added here, uh, I fix here is a lot of times with the document locations, you're going to have that weird hierarchy. So you're not sure what the full path is going to be. So I added this custom API here. And there's actually an existing message you can call. Um, so you can call it for a specific document location record and it returns the SharePoint site collection and then like the full uh, relative URL of that. So it has like the full folder structure. So I just um, enhanced that with this call where it achieves those plus a few other additional options like it gives you the uh, the SharePoint list name, the SharePoint list path, um, just the full relative URL. So you're able to, to grab that and then you can use that to upload files to that folder path without having to loop through the document locations, try and get the full path. So this is out on our Teams site. So there's a few solutions in here that are free for anybody to use. So it's under the CRM team under package solutions. And then it's under files. We've got all of our like IP solutions. That we use so this is the document management one. It depends on the JT controls, so you need to install both of those if you can use that to client. Any questions? So you're using this to solve to, to I guess, allow more granularity in document storage beyond the native CRM SharePoint integration? Yeah, you can spell out more of a folder structure and then the more important piece is just to automatically create those document location records in the SharePoint folders when the record is created. So otherwise, like, so this quote I just created it since that job failed, when I go to documents, that's when it's actually gonna create the document location. Right. Okay. So if I was trying to upload a file here before someone um, did that, you know, it's going to fail because the document location doesn't exist. But ultimately, the business problem we're solving is being able to have a deeper folder structure to store documents than the native CRM, but we don't also don't need additional dev, right? This solution handles that? Yep. Okay, thank you. And then you just do your uh, typical SharePoint integration setup first, and then this goes on top of that, right? Yeah. Yep. So, so if I like, configure your SharePoint site and what uh, what record types you want to be enabled for document management. And I have a question. Sorry, did you say that you can have it have a folder structure? So like yeah. if they want every single lead created with like a certain folders underneath it, you can do that. Okay. Yeah. I thought you said that, but I'm just making sure I heard correctly. Thank you. Also, I haven't tested it, but for they wanted um, files for cases to go to different SharePoint sites, depending on what type of case it is. So this should theoretically work with that. You just have to add multiple like root document locations for that for that table, that record type, and just point them to a separate parent document location. And then it should create document locations in both both sites. I don't know much about SharePoint storage, but all of these extra folders, um, does that eat up? Is, is there a potential to like eat up a crap ton of uh, storage if they're not using it for every single account lead, blah, blah, blah? I don't know either, but probably not. 
I feel like SharePoint storage is pretty cheap, which is why we right. kind of yeah. stuff to there. I I guess it's a metric ton instead of a crap ton. But <laughs> I had the same yeah. question, Scott. And, and it depends what, what goes in the folders. Storage? Yeah. The, I mean, the actual folder path, um, that shouldn't take up any storage at all to, okay. to speak of. I mean, it's bytes or something like that, you know, basically the storing the name. 20 cents a gigabyte is SharePoint. Oh, wow. Okay. That's what this says. So CRM storage is only what, 1,000 times that? I mean, that seems about right. No, they turned it way down. Is it? I, I think I thought it was it's like bucks. 50 cents a gig for file storage now. So oh, it's like for file two, storage two and, and CRM. Yeah. Two and a half times. Yeah. So now I, I no longer recommend SharePoint unless we need it because it's fairly cheap. I think they should crank that up to just show how much more important we are than SharePoint. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. That's good. Well, that's really cool. Thanks, Derek. Yep. Yeah.